scripting. If you haven't tried it, try it. You will be amazed at the results you can get from scripting. So let's talk exactly what scripting is, what I think scripting is, what works for me. Everybody's slightly different. Tweak it to your own. It has worked for me in the past, continues to work for me in the present. It is amazing. You don't exactly have to understand what scripting is in order to reap the benefits of it. I don't understand how my microwave works. I still use it and reap the benefits. I don't understand how my cell phone works, how somebody across the world can text me, WhatsApp me, how it goes out there, comes down exactly here, almost instantaneous. I don't understand that, but I still use it. So maybe you're skeptical. Maybe you don't understand scripting. Maybe you just don't think it could work for you. I'm telling you, it will work for you. You're sending out a frequency, like you're sending out a text and it's like attracts like. What you put out is what you get back. So use scripting. The way I do scripting, and I've done it for, I would say just over three years now, is you need a book can be a fancy book, can be a notebook, can be just a dollar store scribbler, anything you want. Paper, pen and paper, much better than putting it onto your computer. I, again, I don't understand it, but for some reason, your brain into your hand, writing it out makes a connection more, more physical connection than typing it on a computer write it out. All you need after you have your pen and paper is what do you want? Not what you don't want. Don't be negative. Don't write, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm out of debt. Debt is a negative word. Don't use it. I am so happy and grateful now that I have financial abundance. It's much more powerful. Don't use the word debt. Don't even say, I'm so happy and grateful now that I can make all my bill payments. Bill payments is a negative thing. Keep it on the positive. Positive, positive, positive. So once you've written it out, especially when you're new to this, go back over it. Have I used any negative words? Get rid of them, replace them with the positive. Positive, positive, positive. Frequency matters. Vibrations matter, always in the present tense. Not, I will be so happy and grateful when I get out of debt. No, I am so happy and grateful now that I have financial abundance. Be specific if you want to be. I am so happy and grateful now that I earn $10,000 a month. So present tense is important. I am so happy and grateful now that I am at my ideal weight. Not, I'm going to be so happy and grateful when I reach the weight of. I am so happy and grateful that today my marriage is thriving and loving and caring. Not, I will be so happy and grateful when I have the relationship of my dreams. Speak in the present tense. Now, make your subconscious brain, trick it as you will, if you will, into believing that it's already happened. What you imagine and what happens in real life, your subconscious brain doesn't know the difference. So trick your subconscious brain into actually believing that you have obtained what you want to obtain. I'm so happy and grateful on my way to work this morning when I was driving my dream car, make it present tense and feel it. Shut your eyes. Feel what it would feel like to be driving in your dream car. Feel what it would feel like to wake up with your dream partner, your spouse beside you. 
feel what it would feel to go through your day knowing that you had no financial worries. Feeling is the secret. That is an excellent book by Neville Goddard, by the way. Feeling is the secret. You must feel these things, really, really feel it. So as you're scripting, sometimes write it out, shut your eyes, imagine that it's happening to you already, that you can, what would you, what would you smell if you were in a brand new car of your dreams? What would the seats feel like? What would you all, use all of your senses if you can? Touch, smell, taste, anything you can to make it more vivid, more real in your brain. Write it out and think about it as you're writing it. Emotion is key. Positive emotion. I suggest you get as detailed as possible to a point. If you have a dream job and you can picture it, but you're way too specific, then you might not recognize when opportunities come your way that are just as good as your dream job or better. Sometimes you limit yourself by being too specific. Don't be that specific. If you're thinking of your dream relationship, he has to be this tall and this color hair, this colored eyes. What if somebody comes along and they have brown eyes instead of blue eyes? So don't be so specific that you cut yourself off from recognizing things that come your way that could even be better than what you have detailed. Be specific, but also be open to something better. So write it down. I always start my statements with, I am so happy and grateful now that. And then I just continue on stream of consciousness. I am so happy and grateful now that. I'm so happy and grateful to be in Greece, visiting the Greek islands, seeing all the history, enjoying the beaches, and then stop and picture yourself on a beach in Greece feel it, smell the salt air, taste the drinks you're going to be drinking, feel it, and then write it out. Continue on. I am so happy and grateful. It doesn't have to take very long. I do it every morning. It's also good if you can read it right before you go to bed. It also helps not just to write it down, but as you're waking up in the morning, Get in that frequency, get in that vibration, get in that feeling that these good things have already happened in your life. And before you go to sleep at night, right when you're almost, you're from wakefulness to sleepiness, just in that in-between time, think about it, dream about it, go to sleep with fantastic thoughts in your head fantastic frequencies, your subconscious as you're sleeping will work things out. It's amazing. We've all done it. I can't remember somebody's name. I go to sleep and the person's name comes to me in the, in the middle of the night, first thing in the morning. Your subconscious mind works on things while you're sleeping. You have a problem, you go to bed and you're thinking about it. You wake up in the morning and Suddenly you have a solution to your problem or an idea that, about your problem you didn't have before. Your subconscious mind works while you're sleeping. So program it to work for the positive. Write it out in the morning. Think about it in the morning. Think about it before you go to sleep. That's scripting. It has worked wonders in my life. It has repaired relationships in my life. It has brought things to me that I really never thought would actually happen in my life. But when I'm scripting and I'm thinking about it, I feel it and I believe it. And the more you do it, the more you believe. I did a rice experiment. I have a video about it, how my thoughts changed the rice. Love rice, the hate rice. I thought different things watch it that has opened up my universe it has opened up the way i 
truly, truly believe now that your thoughts matter. And if you can write them down in a scripting form and be concise and focused about it, it is life altering. I cannot stress this enough. Give it a try. If you want to get really, really into it, speak your thoughts into water. Change the frequency of the water. Then when you drink the water, that frequency will go in you. What have you got to lose? Give it a try. I guarantee you, if you truly embrace scripting, it can change your life. It changed mine. Thanks for watching.